Hey now, what's going on YouTube? So, um, today I want to make an announcement that I have 43 subscribers right now. And if I can get to 100 subscribers, I will have a giveaway of a free hat for whoever it is. Tell me your hat size. I'll make you a free custom hat if I can get to 100 subscribers. So, make sure to like and subscribe this video because I'm going to give away more giveaways later. And I also want to kind of give you an idea of the hats that I have made. So, uh, where, where did it go? Dang it. Sorry about this. It's just kind of working me through. Working me through. I pulled hats. So this is my Instagram page. This is where I make my hats. These are some of my hats. This is one of my t-shirts. I'm also an artist. I can draw. This is a graduation hat. Uh, this drawing unfortunately got stolen. Jerry Garcia band. Um, I do lots of different hats. Lots of different sketches. I'm also always looking for models. Um, this hat had 28 faceted gems inside of it. Uh, this I made for Dead & Company. It's like a China Cat Sunflower hat. This was my 1943 hat. I do lots of different stuff. This is a drawing of Jerry Garcia. Lots of different stuff. Hats like this with pictures in the inside. That's my dog. Dead dog. Rest in peace, Riot. That's my third hat right there. Sideways reverse triangle with two opposite spinning propellers. Oh yeah. This hat's a leather hat. These were some straw hats. My girlfriend at the time did those actually. That's my first hat. That was a custom hat. Weird color combination, but I think it came out pretty good. The dude actually didn't like it, but I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, another China Cat Sunflower hat, Dead & Company. I'm gonna go on tour this summer. I'm gonna make stuff for tour. This was my 300th hat. I've made a total of 726 different hats. Um, this was my most expensive hat. It's all West Virginia themed. It's got all the stuff of West Virginia. I'll show you another picture of it when I get to it. Uh, this hat's got a fan inside right there. That's a fan because I made it for a musician who was playing with Jerry Garcia Band. That way he could turn it on and then the fan would blow air on his head. These are the hats that I'm going to make for Dead & Company. These are my Crypto Chronic Visors. This was a baseball cap that I made sitting in a field. Here's a picture of Phil Lesh wearing one of my hats at Terrapin Crossroads. Here's more of the Crypto Chronic Visors. This hat was really cool. I don't quite know how I made the shape. I have an idea, but I've never been able to remake it. Here's more of the West Virginia themed hat. It's got the state bird. This was an embroidered jacket, velvet jacket, and I took the embroidery and made a hat with it. Uh, the most expensive hat got a box, because it was the most expensive hat. You can see the hat inside the box right there. Custom box, custom hat. Nobody else has got a hat box. This is a tie-dyed velvet patchwork hat. This is a Star Wars hat. And I did not know that they glue in the dark. If I would have known that, the dude told me he would have gave me 80 bucks for it. These were some painted hats that I did for a, a raffle. I did this one in the raffle as well. It's another one of my painted hats. Ah oh, man. Uh. That witch hat was my first and only witch hat. This is the only one of these I've ever made. Uh, here I am at a waterfall in Oregon, I believe, wearing a Crypto Chronic visor. Uh, this hat's got ears. It had a black band go around it. Its other hat, this hat, had a secret compartment. Like the inside would pull out the bottom of this hat. So this hat right here has a secret compartment. The inside pulls out and you can stick stuff in there. It was a custom order. It was a custom order. This is a patchwork fedora, or a velvet fedora with embroidered fabric. This is another one of my painted Grateful Dead hats. Oh, I got so many hats. And this is only like half of them. 
This is another really cool Star Wars hat. Those were pretty sweet. I made those in Santa Cruz. This is technically my first hat. Technically, because I didn't really make the hat. I just painted on it. I started a whole new trend. This hat's all patchwork, all freehand cut. It was really windy out. Not the straightest. This is my only vinyl hat. This is not real leather. It's number seven. This was uh, my third painted hat. It's a tall, tall hat. I did it for raffle. There's my first painted hat. This is my 1943 Albert Hoffman riding around the sun hat. That's my friend Spin Spun Maddie. These are some t-shirts that I drew. Drew. I didn't screen print them. I drew them. Drew them. Everything is drawn. This is another custom hat right there. This one's really cool with the turtle on it. These are some more of my baseball caps. This is a guitar I made out of cardboard. Yes, I made that out of cardboard. Uh, more Star Wars hats. Another patchwork hat. That hat's really cool. In fact, a dude in Santa Cruz, I fronted them this hat, and I never seen him again. That fucking dick owes me. These are the buffalo in the Golden Gate Park. This is a Terrapin Crossroads hat for Terrapin. This one, too. I made a little series. They didn't buy them, but, you know, whatever. This one's sweet. Look at that bridge. Sunset. Man, that hat was dope. <laughs> Here's my Jerry Garcia hat. Uh... These are some happy customers in my hats. Another tie-dyed top hat. More happy customers. Look at the glow-in-the-dark Star Wars hat. That's sick. This hat was really cool. Man, I can just go on and on and on. Oh, that's the end of the page.